What's up guys, it's Metal, and I'm going to show you how hold buffering works in Smash Ultimate. It's a very easy system, but a lot of people seem a little confused by it. All it is, is that when you do an action, you can hold another action, like literally hold the buttons on the controller, and it will come out as soon as it can, once the first action is finished. So if I wanted to do a repeated sequence of neutral errors with Ridley, um, neutral error in this game, you can do a short hop neutral error by hitting just X and A at the same time. So if I hold A and X... And excuse my green screen, um, my green screen A button, by the way. But if I hold A and X, and then release, and then hold again, that will do a repeated sequence of neutral layers um, as long as I keep releasing and holding, and it looks like this. So the reason that's nice is because instead of having to manually time by like tapping and waiting and getting those right, which is not particularly hard in this instance, but um, holding it guarantees that it is always timed as soon as it can be. So some practical applications of this are uh, like throw combos. So with Ridley, I can do a down throw into a forward air. So if during my down throw, I hold forward on the analog stick, A and X at the same time, it will buffer in a forward air short hopped automatically, which combos. And I can do that again just to show you. So I'm not timing that. I'm literally just holding forward A and X during my down throw animation, and it just happens automatically. It's an auto combo, basically. Um, but you can do other stuff, like if you could do it out of a tilt, the same thing. So if I do a down tilt and then hold forward X and A, it'll do the same thing. So during my down tilt, I just hold forward X and A, and that happens automatically. But it doesn't have to be an attack. Um, so at higher percents at 50, if I do it a down throw or a down tilt right now, the short hop forward air wouldn't combo. So what I would probably want to do is during my D tilt or during my down throw, I would just hold forward and X, right? And that's going to make sure that I jump full hop as soon as I can. And then I can react and just hit A when it's appropriate. And that combos. So I'm holding forward and X to guarantee a full hop as soon as I can. And then I'm just tapping A when I get to the peak of my full hop um, to guarantee that combo. But you can do this with all kinds of stuff. Um, Ridley has a little cheese you can get if people DI badly off the side where you can do three uh, forward airs in a row off of a down throw. So if you just hold forward X and A and release X and A during the forward air animation, then hold it again, just like we did a second ago with the other things, it'll make those short hop forward airs come out as soon as they can. You don't have to release the joystick. You can keep holding forward if you want more forward airs. Um, you only have to release the face buttons for it to register the new thing. So um, this, is a, this is a really practical thing though with lots of characters. Like Incineroar, D-Tilt, you can just hold up X and A to guarantee you get a short hop up air to combo after that D-Tilt. Um, pretty much every character can use this. You can do it with specials, you can do it with arrows, you can do it with tilts, you can do it with smashes, you can do it with jab. Um, the only thing you can't do it with that I'm aware of is a, a dash. Um, you, can't, you can't hold buffer a dash to my knowledge. But otherwise, it's a really easy system that I think people were, or have been confused by. Um... But all you have to do is hold something. Uh, you just hold it during something else, and it comes out. So that's hold buffering. I hope this was helpful, and uh, have fun. See ya.